Welcome everybody and happy Monday. This is our AMA live Facebook show at Dr. Simon's Metabolics and Weight Loss. You can find us online at simonsmetabolics.com. We are here in our Raleigh location and I have with me our wonderful licensed dietitian, Courtney Woodside. So Courtney and I work full time in our Raleigh location. We are on Falls and Noose Road across from Lafayette Village next to Piper's Tavern and only a few miles off of 540. Mm -hmm. um, our Durham location is located at South Point across from the South Point Mall, the Renaissance Center, and we are both open. Our offices, we've been open the entire time throughout COVID, taking precautions. Uh, we offer phone visits for individuals who don't feel comfortable coming in. So if you haven't been in for a while, but you're catching this live, go ahead and give us a call. Um, we are open normal business hours. However, this week, we're going to be closed tomorrow, Tuesday, November 3rd for Election Day to give our staff and patients the chance to vote. So we are covering today basically keto foods. We're talking keto alternatives, <clears throat> low carb alternatives, even if you don't identify as keto. These are healthier alternatives to things like bread and pasta and crackers <clears throat> and things like that. Now we're going over a lot of products because I think these are um, really nice things to look for and kind of keep in the pantry, um, things that just make it easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gotta be stick easy. To. Yeah, to go convenient because we get questions all day from patients. Well, I don't have time to cook. What am I supposed to do? Or I, I have mm -hmm. to just run in and run out. Or mm -hmm. I have my kids and I'm working and they're in school and it, it's just that the time is not there to cook all these gourmet meals and we get that. And right. luckily, you don't have to do that right. in order to be <clears throat> healthy. Yeah. Yes, the low carb industry, I think, has come a long way in the last few years. So we try to mm -hmm. keep track and stay on top of what's out there. So we wanted to share some of our favorites with everyone. Yes. And some of these, I will admit, um, patients have told me about. I, I right. had not realized they yeah. were there because it's such a fast moving. It's hard. It's hard to keep up. It really um, is. Yeah. It really is. So if we don't cover it today, send us a comment. Let us know if there's something that you really love as a product and you want us to share with folks or next time you're in here for a visit, say, hey, I saw you guys, but you forgot about this, this, and this. That's how we learn about stuff too. Yeah. And I love be a that. Good series because there's a lot. Yes. I mean, there's a lot here, but there's even things that we d didn't have time to get or yeah, couldn't find um, at certain stores. So yes. we can bullet point those too. Yeah. So again, thank you so much for joining us on this thank live you. Facebook AMA with Courtney and myself, Michelle, <clears throat> nurse practitioner in the Raleigh office. And I think we're going to dive in and start talking. What do you think, Courtney? Should we go yeah. like left to right here? Um, or yeah. categories? Maybe I was thinking categories is okay. kind of what we talked about. Yeah. Um, yeah. Category sounds good. So where do we, where do we let's, let's start, start in the that? front here. Okay. So um, I think that when individuals switch to a low carbohydrate or healthier grain three paleo type or something, they they're always looking for bread, bread mm -hmm. alternatives. And while there are some you can make at home, such as the fat head pizza yeah. crust or dough, which you can use. I know you want to my favorites. that. Yeah, I talk about that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, people want wraps or breads, things that make it easy to have a quick lunch that's not messy, mm -hmm. um, something they can prep in advance, maybe have as yeah, grab and go even out the door. Mm -hmm. um, these are a newer product, Folio, the cheese wraps. Um, I'm trying to think about where where I found these. Costco, um, for sure. Costco, okay. Does Wegmans have these? Harris Teeter, I Wegmans think. Wegmans does. Yeah. Teeter as yep. well. So Amazon. Pretty easily available, but it's just cheese. It's just these very thinly rolled out sort of cheese wraps. Um, and they're very sturdy. Um, I purchased these last week, actually, so I've already opened them. <laughs> I had a couple. They're very good. <laughs> they have a couple of flavors. That one's cheddar. Um, I know they have a couple of other options, but maybe more to come. Yeah, so if you're okay with dairy, right. these are right. perfect. Yep. They are so, so perfect yep. because there's literally one ingredient, right? Mm -hmm. It's cheese. Yeah, it's, it's just, just cheese. cheese. Yeah. It's just flattened out yeah. cheese. And you it's technically cool. could make these yourself, I guess, by um, just the way people make cheese crisps or chips, which we will get to. Mm -hmm. um, you just kind of put it on like a silicon baking mat mm -hmm. and bake it until it's not burnt, but cooked. The cheese is melted and then let it cool. Um, but it's not quite the same as when they do it for you. And it's easy right. and convenient. And it's, big. And it's, it's large. large enough yeah. to actually wrap yeah. a bunch of yummy stuff inside. Um, so, yeah, that's that's a good one. I'm, I'm so glad we yeah. were able to share that one because I talk about that a lot. 
and it shows ways that you could make it into like a bowl. Like you could bake it and make oh, it yes. crisp for yeah. like a taco salad or something, which I think is really cool. Right I haven't there. tried that. I've just used it as a wrap, but yeah, it's pretty versatile. Yeah, and on the back, yeah, wrap it or roll it, crisp it, melt it. I mean, it covers mm -hmm. all, all the yummy bases just, get covered yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah, so. That and one, um, also a Courtney this, product she told me well, about. Well, <laughs> this is kind of an old school thing and sometimes they're hard to find, but Joseph's is a brand that I talk a lot about with patients because it's one of the lowest carb that I've been able to find um, still. And there's different ones. This is, I think, a newer version with the multigrain, but um, but it's got, um, yeah, it's at um, Harris Teeter for sure. Um, I used to be able to find it at Walmart, but I'm not sure if they still carry it. Like I said, there's a couple of versions. This is called the Lavash bread. Um, I think they even have one that's a little bit lower carb than this one. For one, it's 14 carbs with three grams of fiber. Um, so still not too bad. And these are pretty large, so you could even cut it in half mm -hmm. and, um, and do it that way. Mm -hmm. And even go lower on the carbs. But they do taste really good. They're, they're wheat-based. Um, most like so not gluten free, but they are really soft and like as close to a regular wrap as you're probably going to get. Mm -hmm. Just a reminder, this, this is all about low carb alternatives. That's what we're doing here on today's live AMA is we're just talking about products, maybe recipes that we use with the products when folks are looking for alternatives to traditional bread, pasta, baking, um, needs, crunchy snacks, sweet snacks, things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, but with that lavash, I think that will remind people most of actual bread. I uh, say, so hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Um, thanks for joining us. Yes. Um, but yeah, if, <laughs> if things like the folio wraps aren't quite bread-like enough and you do okay with gluten, then the Joseph's lavash is, is a great option. Um, so one thing we don't have here are also a newer product that I've seen in Costco. Uh, the brand is Crepini. Yeah. And they're egg thins. egg thins. And are there some that are just egg and some that are egg and cauliflower? I want to say they have egg and something else. Okay. Because, um, I've seen them. one that's like egg with sweet potatoes, so mm. not as low carb. Mm. But then there is an egg with cauliflower. And they're similar shape to the folio wraps, round, um, really, really, really thin egg product. But it doesn't really it's like taste. like a crepe. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they call it crepini. Yeah. Yeah. It's not very eggy. And I, I've had those before and they held up really well too. So just a different option out there. Mm -hmm. And um, there are a couple of brands like Mission that have mm -hmm. uh, low carb, lower carb actual tortillas. So I do have folks who they're maybe not uh, following a super low carbohydrate plan and they feel okay including some carbohydrate that's where those low carb tortillas may come into play versus someone who was very strict on a maybe 20 30 or 40 gram or less a day right. diet would probably want to stick to something like the folio or the egg wrap um so dolly has asked a question where do you get the lavash bread teeter yep yeah, it's a harris teeter in the section um in like the bread section kind of near usually where the pizza crusts are the like ready made pizza crusts like i said there's a few different options there's also a pita bread that they put out um and i can't remember there is an original lavash bread that's not multi-grain i think that one is much lower on the carbs um Thank you, Dolly. Yes. Um, we dropped a link in the comments for them. Um, and keep in mind, too, uh, you know, we if you're watching not within the Triangle region of North Carolina, you don't have Harris Teeter. Many of these products, you can go to their website and find where they are sold in stores <clears throat> near you or online. Or you know, located. Uh, online. Yeah. You know, a lot of these products are available on Amazon. So. If you uh, if you don't want to go to the store or you're struggling to find it, just go online and, and you should be able to find it and have it shipped right to you. Mm -hmm. All right, does that cover Next. bread? You think pretty well? I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Yeah. yeah, let's move mm -hmm. on to what do you think? Do the pasta? Yeah, noodles. Yeah, Oof, yeah. gosh. So pasta is um, honestly a tougher one to to recreate the same chew and taste and mouth feel. So it can be really difficult, but if you're willing to try things that give the illusion of pasta, mm -hmm. give the bulk, give the you know the same kind of like color and um, full feeling that you get from it, 
there are really good options. Yeah, I like to emphasize with low carb, we're not losing flavor. You know, it's it like the what's underneath is just the vehicle for the flavor. So you can mm -hmm. keep your sauce and seasonings and your protein that's shrimp or meatballs or whatever you're doing for a pasta dish and your vegetables. You can keep basically everything else. Mm -hmm. It's just finding something else other than one of your standard um, noodles. Mm -hmm. And I think the shirataki ones would be really good to go over because there's yes. some tricks. To there those. are some tricks. So shirataki, not shiitake. They're not made yes. of mushrooms. Shirataki. Shirataki. And kind of in this funky bag of fluid. Yeah. These are from Thrive Market, but they have these at uh, most grocery stores, Whole Foods, mm -hmm. Harris Teeter, mm -hmm. Sprouts. Yeah, they're not that um, hard to find. They're they're in an odd location, so they're in this the is the produce no. near the polenta. So they're usually in the refrigerated section. There are ones that are made with soy and ones mm -hmm. that are made without. Some people will say the, the ones with soy or uh -huh. to tofu have maybe a more similar. They do texture. have a slightly better texture, like much closer, and they look a little bit more like pasta. They, mm -hmm. um, these are more translucent, kind of clearish. So again, a little funky, but they work really well. The texture is nice. They're soft. Yes. Um, they're soft. So if you're not a big fan of um, zucchini noodles or zoodles, then these could be a good option. Mm -hmm. And they have these on Amazon too. They do. So a couple of brands that we've seen um, are Miracle Noodle and Pasta Zero that tend to be a bit more common. And they're sort of like a rice noodle and how they look and maybe feel uh, a lot of like ramen noodles. Mm -hmm. So good to replace mm -hmm. with the shirataki for making a soup. And they come in fettuccine. This is, this a, is made with spinach, uh, so it's got green. a green color to it. So there is that option as well. I've seen angel hair. I've seen spaghetti. I've seen fettuccine. I've seen rice. I've rice seen macaroni. Does that cover all of them? I think that's, yeah. So you got some that's options. Nice. Yeah. You can do them with cheese. You can do them with bread sauce. You can do them with pesto. You can make a casserole out of it. Um, but I think we probably should go over how you <laughs> prepare these noodles because it can be a little intimidating being in a basically like a bag of uh, of liquid and then like Courtney right. said, they, well, like, they look a little that? odd, kind yeah. of translucent. Um, so how do you, how do you do yours at home? So I put mine usually in some kind of like a colander strainer and just dump them in because they're already cooked, mm -hmm. which is also really nice. You're really mm -hmm. just trying to heat them up. But I do rinse them really well because um, what you said, it's kind of a salty solution. Um, it can actually smell a little kind of fishy. A bit of a smell to it. Yeah. Um, doesn't taste like that. I no, promise it doesn't. You. It doesn't. It don't taste like anything. It was like pasta. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just rinse it really, really well. And then if I'm kind of in a hurry, I can just pop them in the microwave worst case just to heat them up. Mm -hmm. And I will put a little bit of olive oil and maybe like garlic, like seasonings mm -hmm. and some Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan, because that'll help the sauce and things kind of stick to it a little mm -hmm. better because they're a little watery. Mm -hmm. um, or I'll um, even just kind of throw them in, the, in a pan for a minute and just get them warm that way and put my That's how I do mine. Things there. Yeah. So that it's similar. Again, these are shirataki noodles. They are made of a certain um, fiber called cognac. It's spelled konjac, K-O-N-J-A-C, I believe. And um, they are essentially calorie-free and carbohydrate-free. There are not many foods that you can say that with, but they are. Um, and to find uh, some really great recipes, you can go to our website or you can go to the Casual Keto Doctor um, website or on Instagram. And there are some recipes that use these on there. Yeah. But yeah, uh, same thing, Courtney, I will, I will cut it. I'll put it in a colander. I will rinse, 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 and like kind of like, you know, rotate them through, make sure they're really, really rinse good. And then I'll usually put them in a hot pan without any oil and just kind of dry them out. And once they mm -hmm. start kind of popping and crackling, I, I know that they're, they're pretty well dried. It could take a little while mm -hmm. to get there. If you yeah. do want them pretty dried out and then I sauce them and um, and these, this is like two servings. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't look like much, but mm -hmm. when you pull them out and get them in a bowl, this is two servings, which is nice. So like I always have two, two meals out of this when and they're filling whatever I'm yeah, using it for. They're filling. Yeah. So it, try these, try <clears throat> and don't let the, uh, the smell and the fact yes. that you have to rinse them <laughs> and then dry them out and either the microwave or the stove, uh, stop you. Just know that they, they take on the flavor of whatever you're using with them very, very well. Mm -hmm. And they are a great bulk to keep you full. Yeah. yeah. I've done these as a ramen in like the instant mm. pot. 
And that works really because you can make everything else, like the vegetables, the broth, the meat, all kind of cook there mm -hmm. and have this separate and keep it separate, I would say, because otherwise they may fall apart mm -hmm. in the broth. Mm -hmm. But that works really, really nicely, especially now it's getting colder out. Yeah. And Courtney mentioned zoodles, uh, <clears throat> short for zucchini noodles. You've probably seen these spiralized vegetables. Um, yeah. This that is yellow. yellow squash. Yeah. Um, it's it's literally just you could use a spiralizer at home or you can buy them like this in a place like now. Yours, yep, already made. Yeah, you don't want to overcook the zucchini or the yellow um, squash because they can get a little mushy. But you can just do a quick saute on them. And oh, hi, hi Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Um, quick saute, and then again, just just douse them in delicious whatever you know like right. sauces and, mm -hmm. and seasonings Chicken and alfredo and, or yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely so you'll sauce. see there there's also butternut squash noodles those are maybe a little bit higher in carbohydrate but still such a healthy nutrient dense alternative to regular wheat-based pasta so here we're talking sure. keto low carb alternatives on our facebook live at dr simon's metabolics and weight loss in the raleigh office i've Courtney Woodside, our wonderful dietitian here. And then I am Michelle, nurse practitioner uh, in the Raleigh location of the practice. So I feel like we've covered bread, we've covered noodles, mm -hmm. anything crunchy. We could go through like chip options mm -hmm. pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, so yeah. You know, we have a lot just on display here. Yeah. But we get asked this a lot too. Yeah. Pork rinds. I feel like some people, you love them or you hate them. I love them. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> awesome. Lots of different flavors, lots of different companies now. Um, there's even ones that you can buy online that are almost in like a popcorn bag that you can microwave and they pop and they oh, get, yeah. they're hot and crispy and really fresh that way. Mm -hmm. Um, I think the brand's called Lowry's. It's on Amazon, <laughs> but they're really good. And mm -hmm. there's like a plain and then like a spicier barbecue. So there's those, but then, um, ones like these are just like this. Ooh, Korean there's kimchi barbecue flavor. Yes. This brand is a newer brand. And I think these have been at Costco in a bigger bag. Oh, really? Of I've seen them. I don't know yeah. that I've seen those. They're really, really good. Yeah. High quality. Mm -hmm. um, this was bought at Harris Teeter. Yeah. But really good. Crunchy, mm -hmm. awesome for dips. Mm -hmm. I love to keep like whipped cream cheese or make ranch dip with sour mm -hmm. cream or Greek yogurt, however you want to do that. Yeah. Um, guacamole, anything. Those are awesome. And I know Dr. Simon's a fan of doing like nachos with them. Yes. Yes, is, he is. Which is a really yeah. good idea. Or with these mm -hmm. which are our quest line you'll see right up here um, in the shot there are many flavors quest is a uh, brand that has been making good quality low carb yeah. bars yeah, protein right powders um, they even make the shirataki noodles actually i think quest has their yeah, own they do. version of those mm -hmm. so quest has been big in the low carb industry um we sell them here in our protein marketplace, the Raleigh location, that you can walk in without an appointment if you wanted to try them. They're also sold at places like GNC, of course, online. I think yeah, I've seen these in Harris Teeter. And, yeah, in like Sprouts, right. I think, in Whole Harris Teeter. Yeah. 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 So really this the is a tortilla nacho. style are really good. Mm -hmm. the, the original ones were baked, which we also carry, and those are good. They're a little more delicate. Mm -hmm. um, I think these are a little more, they're more sturdy. For so dipping and for nachos. For dipping, mm -hmm. And it's like the closest thing to Doritos. And they're they're awesome. Yeah. They're very good. Yeah. Um, we do have some beef jerky here. Not exactly crunchy, but it is a really good salty, um, savory alternative when you do need something quick and on the go. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. And I'll jump over to here just because it's similar. These Ostrom sticks, there are a lot of beef sticks. Um, Ostrom is a really, really good one. It's kind of, I consider it like a much healthier version of Slim Jim, mm -hmm. essentially. Mm -hmm. So you open it, you eat it, they come in a different lot of flavors. flavors. Yeah. Really, really tasty. Um, but then the whisk, you can look at these more quick, mm. there's a lot of flavors and we talk about these a lot mm -hmm. um, because they are very available, very easy to find now, um, easy to get lots of flavors. Mm -hmm. So one we're at Walmart. Yes. Uh, uh, Teeter. I believe Harris Teeter. You can definitely get them online. And the Parmesan ones you can get at the big box stores in large bags, such as Costco. Mm -hmm. um, you can crunch them up, put them on salads. If you want yes. you know, some texture in your salad, you can just eat them straight. You could crumble them and put them on top of a casserole. I mean, you can yeah. be creative. And they come 
Um, even though the Parmesan ones were kind of the originals, yes, I think they now come in a lot we of flavors. Lot of so flavors. we have cheddar, we have Asiago and pepper jack. Mm -hmm. This one's Tangy Ranch, which yeah. I love. That sounds awesome. That sounds really good. And I actually just use some in a soup. I made some oyster stew because that's Ooh. low carb. Mm -hmm. so milk and butter and oysters and salt mm -hmm. and pepper. And I didn't want to use saltines or croutons. So I just put these in there and they were really good. That's a good that's, idea. Yeah, that's, that's a really, really good, good idea. idea. I like that. Oh, and tomato basil. Let's oh, try yeah. it over here. Ooh. I think they have a bacon flavor too. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. yum, yum, yum. Um, so that that is when people say, I miss crunchy, I want salty, you know, I I like chips, but I know they're mm. not gonna help me on my weight loss journey or on my journey towards, you know, having better health. We say, well, you know, let's let's try these. Let's try the mm. the cheese or the protein chips. And that's what's nice about Quest too, is they're so high in protein that they can be part of a meal and oh, have a serving. Protein. Yeah. So if you can make up the rest with chicken salad, tuna salad, or something to kind of dip or have on the side it yeah, works pretty easily yeah. um to go to baked yeah baked so right like this little area right here is all baked goods or things that you use for making baked goods i should say so flour alternatives are a biggie uh, anyone who's googled uh how to make a keto brownie or a keto chocolate chip cookie mm -hmm. or a low carb um the brownie is gonna find uh almond flour coconut flour um, or pork rind flour usually listed as the mm -hmm. as the main flours. Am I missing any flours um, that you use for low carb? Usually for me, it's like it's, it's almond, hazelnut, and right. Those are right. Those are more specialty. Yeah, yeah, usually it's almond and coconut for the most part. Yeah. So for the flours, you do want to follow recipes that actually yes. use almond <laughs> and coconut. Flour. It's not a one to one ratio exchange. No. If you're doing a regular brownie recipe or something, it's not going to turn out the same. These are very different flours in the sense that they're mm. fine powders, but they react very differently when you're baking them and mixing them with wet ingredients. For instance, coconut flour, you need a lot more wet ingredients because dry. there's so much fiber, it just sucks it right up. Yeah. So it'll end up really dry and crumbly if you're not careful. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as sweeteners go, um, Swerve, which with, uh, this is new, to just Swerve, this. Yeah. So Swerve um, is a brand of erythritol, which is a sugar alcohol that is really useful for baking. It just reacts very, very well. It also doesn't tend to have much of an aftertaste the way some people find with yeah. stevia. I do, it's very mild. Very it's, mild. It's very, very close to the taste of sugar. Mm -hmm. um, Can have a cool, a little bit of like a cooling effect in the mouth, but mm -hmm. otherwise it's 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 pretty great. So Swerve okay. is just one brand. Is that the confectioner one? This is the confectioner. Yeah, they have yeah. a granular and a confectioner, yeah. which is really cool because that's hard to find. Mm -hmm. And they have um, a brown some version. Call for that. Oh, okay. I think. Yeah. I think they have a brown sugar version now as well. Maybe it came out a little while ago. Um. So that's a, that's a great brand. Um. Some people will also use things like. Splenda in baking. If you tolerate that, that is okay. I think Courtney and I tend to gravitate a little bit more towards what we would call the natural sweeteners versus the artificial sweeteners. So that's stevia, monk fruit, the erythritol or swerve products. Um, and then just to highlight this one, this brand is really, really popular among yes. like the low carb keto community, yeah. New Naturals. Um, I don't, is it in stores? Well, is that Whole Foods? Yeah, it's at Whole Foods. I got this at Whole Foods yeah. a long time ago, last yeah. forever. So it's a bit expensive. To, don't be shocked, but this, it's worth this it. One is a, yeah, this one is a simple syrup. I ordered it off their website and I have a chocolate one too, which I didn't bring in, but that one's really good for mm. if you're doing like a protein shake or hot chocolate. Um, and they, they were pretty good. They have pretty good like discount codes and things. They'll mm -hmm. send you in emails, but, um, I know Michelle mentioned the price and it is pricier, but it's one like a quarter of what you would normally use. Right. Very so concentrated it goes a long way. I'll even make some way. sweet tea with this sometimes. Just good stuff. If you're from the <laughs> South, that's important. Very important. Um, these are also new naturals. This is a plain liquid stevia. Again, just a few drops and you're good. This is a vanilla stevia. So a lot of a lot of the patients that see me and talk about coffee uh, creamers, they will they will hear my spiel. Um, about how it, it's it's really possible to make your own and make it tasty and make it like a latte, a vanilla, vanilla French vanilla, with the right products. Um, the cream would be like heavy cream or heavy whipping cream or half and half, and then you could 
put some vanilla extract plus some plain liquid stevia, uh, or you can do the vanilla stevia. I think they may even have other flavors of this of this liquid um, stevia. There's um, a chocolate, chocolate flavor. It's a mocha. Some other ones, yeah. yeah. So there are definitely options. Um, stevia, when folks come in and say, well, I tried it and I just, I hated it. It was so bitter or it didn't, it just, it didn't go well. I say, well, not all brands are created equal. Yeah. So it's worth trying, trying. different ones. Mm -hmm. And New Naturals is one we recommend a That's lot, really a lot. Um, we don't have it here, but Truvia is a very common one that is white and green. Uh, it often comes in like a little tub, like a flip top. Truvia is stevia and erythritol. So two natural sweeteners mixed together to kind of have the best of both worlds. And you may mm -hmm. find with recipes that they do use multiple sweeteners, that maybe there's a little stevia and a little swerve or erythritol. Uh, they all work a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. The erythritol is really popular for baking though. Yes, yeah, they can com complement each other. And then... I did one. Already. Um, so pork rind, crumbs are really cool. Um, I think a patient actually told me about these, so mm -hmm. I can't take credit for finding them. <laughs> these are online. As far as I, I haven't seen them in stores yet. They may be somewhere, um, but they're awesome. I got those on Amazon, pork rind crumbs, because then you don't have to do it yourself, and it's a lot in there, because um, otherwise you could like just pulverize some pork rinds in a food processor. Um, the brand is, it just says Pork King Good. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I want to say it was about twelve bucks for that, but for as much as you use it, and there's a lot in there, it's it's really not bad. I've used that. I have little ones, and I will use it as a breading and like mm. cut up some chicken breast and make chicken tenders and bake those in the oven. And they are really good. I put some seasoning, some salt, pepper, Parmesan cheese, garlic powder, whatever you want to do there, um, or make it spicy. I've tossed them in like a buffalo sauce and done it that way. Mm. I've even kind of like fried fish in a pan with that breading and it's, it works really, really well. Um, so it's delicious. good for the, yeah, breading a low carb alternative or keto alternative. There's zero carbs in that. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a, that's a cool one for me. I, I like trying different things with that. And on that breading note, almond flour can be used as a breading as well as Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan cheese. So if you want to do crispy, uh, we tell folks a lot when they say, oh, I know I need to cut out all my fried food. Say, well, you know, not necessarily. If you're breading the chicken or the chicken fried steak or the fish in a healthy coating and then doing like your air fryer or maybe using a bit of a healthier oil, um, like coconut oil or something, mm -hmm. um, there's nothing wrong with eating crunchy, delicious fried food. And in the South, this is very important to have right. an option for, for fried food. So we options. understand that. We understand that. So moving down here, um, as far as quick um, like lunches, we talk a lot about the individual packs of, they have chicken, they have salmon, and most commonly they have tuna, right? And this, this is a um, kind of plain chunk light tuna in water, but they have lemon, Layers. pepper, and buffalo, and ranch, and teriyaki. These are amazing. Really good. Like you really don't even have to mix anything with them if Just you like straight the out flavored the ones. Yeah, like very, very easy. Mm -hmm. And then here we have these snack olives. So this new like olives to go, um, olives, pickles, cheese, nuts, very common as low carb snacks. So you're gonna want to check these out if you're an olive lover. Um, these also come in different yes, varieties, yeah, mm -hmm. flavors. And um, I guess when we were covering pasta, we could have covered this hiding over here. This is a rice cauliflower. Yeah. <laughs> Save the best for last. So rice yep. cauliflower um, is such a great option because it can take the place of rice in pretty much anything, especially great stir, for fries. stir fries. Ooh. Really great. So good. Yeah. You can get it frozen, you can get it fresh, but the frozen lasts forever. Mm -hmm. And then um, just uh, again with our marketplace, we sell these adapt bars, which are true keto friendly bars. We have little snack ones and actual meal ones. Um, so 
you know, ask us, uh, you know, whatever questions you want at the appointment, let us know, send us questions in for our next AMA. You'll yes. get more information at simonsmetabolics.com as well as recipes. And then Dr. Uh, Simons has his casual keto doctor website for recipes. So thank you so thank much you for, for joining us. Have a great week. Remember we are closed tomorrow, but back on Wednesday and Thursday, normal business hours. Have a great week, everyone.